guys Tim also with Drag Boss Garage welcome back to the channel well what do you think I'm doing getting back on this poly strip denominator porting project that's been going on for the last year <laughs> but here's where I'm at if you paid attention to the porting series the intake's done I ain't getting any more out of it and I'm happy with it the next step is I had to port the 4500 to 4150 adapter now when I look at this and bolt it on, and I have it marked front to rear because I want to make sure the orientation is the same every time. There's quite a lip here. There's at least a quarter inch here, here, maybe an eighth here, and maybe an eighth here. So I'll get you a better view in a second and show you what I got to do. But when I dyno this engine, I'm going to use this setup with a dominator. And then I also have the HVH high velocity heads, same adapter, but this has the killer looking inside man you know that picks up i'll tell you i did the carb spacer trick actually elena the boss set did it and i picked up i forgot what it was now but like 800s right off the et by doing the spacer trick so look that video up i'll put a link on this but yeah these are really killer i love the way these look and i can't wait to see how they work in regards to the horsepower and torque pickup compared to this setup here. So here it is with the adapter, like I just showed you, bolted on where I think it needs to be. And you really can't see anything here. I might be able to show you from underneath, but right here, there's a big ledge right here. That's at least an eighth of an inch. And I said, this one is like a quarter inch from here to here. The air is not gonna wanna go coming down this and then turn that corner and then bang into this wall. You want a smooth transition. So I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna start this. I'm just gonna start working on it. But obviously I'm not gonna straighten the whole thing down from here down. What I wanna do is make a smooth transition and hit that area of the top of the runner. And I'll be using my trusty Dotco grinder. I'm telling you this thing is the cat's meow. Works like a charm, never lets you down. Looking through the port, you can see the ledge way back here, right there. You can see it on both sides. Everyone's cleaning their leaves and doing whatever garden work or whatever they're doing. Drag boss is important intakes. So let's start grinding. I got my MBE, cylinder heads and manifold hoodie. Thanks, Matt Beeneman. Nice work gloves. I even got hearing protection that someone had said, you better save those ears and safety glasses. So I'm gonna start porting. We'll start working on it. I'm not gonna sit here and record the whole thing because you're just gonna get bored, so. Let's see what we can do. Transmission fluid definitely helps, I'll tell you. So after our live chat last night, I was talking with Darren Morgan about doing the porting. And we were talking about how I was doing. He said, you know what? You don't have to just go around in a circle and even plane. You don't have to do that. He says when he grinds, he's all over the place sometimes. You get into the music, he's just grinding all around. Sometimes we do in a circular motion, up and down. <clears throat> if you stay in one plane, sometimes you'll get a, a round area you don't want. So that's why you move all over the place. He said, don't be, don't be shy to grind. You can fix it. So that's what I'm doing. I find now, if I grind up in here, I can get a lot of better bites here. And then I'll flip the intake over and stand on the top, which I have to do now. So it just makes it for a little bit better 
positioning. And that's what I've been doing, going back and forth to get the rhythm down and pour it away. Get that edge down right down in there. Get that even and then I'll work on the rest of it. So you can see I got a little bit of a, a corner here almost. So that'll try to get out of there. But I can finish it up and see where it is. I'll see it up later. to get to work. Stay tuned to Drag Boss Garage. All right, so here we are coming back to the Drag Boss Garage porting room. Makeshift that is. But it's six degrees outside and been cold. I, I wanted to get this intake finished and I'll do it inside. So I made this nice little makeshift porting area to cover up anything that could have a chance of getting metal shavings on it or debris. Really with this type of porting it's not too crazy. It's not like it's flying through the air. It's pretty controlled, localized around the base of the this porting bench I have and these area here which I can just dispose of. So it should be pretty good. I want to get this thing done into the dyno. The workbench is all set up. Got some 80 grit flapper wheels, more 80 grit sanding, some burrs that I got from Greg Cusos Killer Burrs. All right, guys, let's get porting. See how it works. It's nice and toasty in here. I got my coat on because I don't want those filings all over my clothes because I'll tell you, porting makes a mess, that's for sure. <laughs> Try to stand up a little bit because it's it's a lot lower than what it was on my phone. So here's a little update. Another, I think I got probably a total of pretty close to four, five hours on it right now. It's crazy. But I had a quarter of an inch on this side to remove and like a sixteenth of an inch on the front and back. So it's looking good. Just a tiny little lip here. I'm going to fin finish with a sanding roll and then I got to figure out how I'm going to angle this port of entry because it was probably like about a 45. So I may just smooth this out just a little bit and keep it going down. So it looks a lot better cleaned up, but I still got a lot of finishing to do. Try to reproduce this angle kind of coming down. Get rid of some of that transition right there. Here's a progress. This is at eight hours of porting this adapter to this Holly Strip Dominator. Get some light on the subject, get a good look at it. So I, I had like a at least a quarter inch to remove on the bottom and I think on the front part of the, or the left side of the intake. 
like an eighth inch on the back and the top. See if I can get it any better. But I have it pointed pretty well, I think. I just gotta do a little finishing up. And then I may do some more work in the runners to kind of make them a little more streamlined like that in the corner. But overall, this thing's way better than it was from the back. At least we'll see how it works in this application. A long time coming to get to this point. Thanks, Darren Morgan.